Hello and welcome to the Drum Digital Advertising Awards Asia Pacific, partnered by Ad Colony. We're here to celebrate you, the best in your industry, in your region. Now sit back, enjoy the show, while we welcome your host, editor of the Drum, Cameron Clark. Hello and a warm welcome to the Drum Awards for Digital Advertising Asia Pacific in partnership with Ad Colony. Thank you so much for tuning in or more appropriately, should I say thank you for clicking the link to be with us for today's exciting results show. My name is Cameron Clark and I'm editor of the Drum and I'll be your host for today's ceremony. But it's not just me you'll be hearing from, I'm delighted to be joined by members of the Drum's Asia Pacific team, Charlotte, Sean, Amit and Aru, who I will introduce more fully to you as we go through the show. Now, I think it's fair to say that getting through the last 18 months with our sanity intact would have been completely impossible had the digital industries not taken giant leaps forward over the last two decades. Having the ability to communicate, socialize, transact, be entertained, and work on digital platforms has in many ways been the glue that has ensured life could go on despite most of us being confined to our own homes for long periods. It is the work that you've all been doing that has helped to keep the world turning over the last year, and that's what we are here to celebrate. We don't need social distancing, masks, travel corridors, or vaccine passports today to recognize who has taken digital advertising to a whole new level to build brands, boost sales, leverage loyalty, and in some cases, even make the world a better place. But before we start, I would like to thank our partner Ad Colony for their support this year. You'll be hearing from them a bit later on as they help me reveal some of the results. A special thank you also to our judges. We had 45 amazing judges from all across the Asia Pacific region. So big thanks to you for taking the time out to read all of the entries. Now back to business. During today's show, I will announce the nominees in each category, then reveal any entries that our judges felt worthy of being highly commended. Then I'll announce the award winner who can bask in glory for the next 12 months. So wherever you're sitting in the world for today's show, grab yourself some refreshments, be that a beer, a glass of wine, a cup of tea, and maybe have a bottle of champagne nearby just in case you really need to celebrate. Okay, let's get started. And appropriately, the category we are kicking off this awards party with today is music and entertainment. Now, although we can't hear you, I do want you to, you to cheer loudly when you hear your company's name mentioned during today's show. There'll be a special prize for anyone who receives the most complaints from their next door neighbors for cheering too loudly on a Wednesday afternoon. Our first nominees are Hyundai Motor Company, Art and Technology. TikTok for TikTok Thailand. We are going straight into the category award winner here, and it gives me great pleasure to announce the day's first winner has been recognized for delivering an entertaining campaign with a brilliant creative concept at its heart, which delivered awesome results. Ladies and gentlemen, our first award of the show goes to TikTok for TikTok Thailand, TikTok Songkran Stranger first immersive movie experience that you can be part of. Thailand has its own new year called Songkran. The world's biggest water festival and the country's longest holiday break. Bars and clubs in Bangkok and surrounding provinces have been ordered to shut. But for everyone's safety, the festival was canceled for the first time in history and the entire nation was left dry. To rinse away the Songkran blues, the challenger platform TikTok took Songkran to the digital world with its first exclusive interactive film, Songkran Stranger. The plot was designed so any Thai could co-star with Thailand's top actors. With an innovative use of TikTok's stitch and duet features, everyone could be a part of this virtual song crime. Just read the script, role play, hashtag, and be a part of the story. Next, we move on to our public sector category, and the nominees this time are Brand Hong Kong, Mida, Thailand Board of Investment, and Wavemaker for New South Wales Government Essential Energy. 
Our judges would like to recognize one entry as highly commended in this category, and that is Brand Hong Kong. So congratulations to you. But for its innovative use of real-time weather data that perfectly delivered a campaign to the right people at the right time that helped save lives, the Public Sector Awards winner is Wavemaker for New South Wales Government Essential Energy, a trifecta of media, creative execution and tech to save Aussie lives. Well done to you. Not-for-profit and charity organisations have had a pretty tough time over the last 18 months and it is the work being done by the digital ad industry to further their important work that we will reward next. Our not-for-profit charity nominations are Acquire NZ for CFNZ, ADA for the UN Refugee Agency, Electric Symphony Media, Lion and Lime Malaysia, and Scream Technologies. Some excellent nominees there, and our judges wanted to recognize one as a highly commended entry, and that is Acquire NZ for CFNZ. So many congratulations to you. Keep up the good work. But there was one standout entry. This campaign was based around painfully compelling content and leveraging platforms such as Grab, Lazada and Tokopedia brilliantly to drive contributions today and long into the future. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is ADA for the UN Refugee Agency. Rigor in regularity for fundraising. Congratulations on some great work that proves marketing really can change the world. Now, moving swiftly on, we will look at our B2B category. The nominees this time are Alibaba Cloud, Hybrid Theory, McCann Ericsson Malaysia for Petronas, and Transmission for HP Australia. Our judges have chosen to highly commend the entry by McCann Ericsson Malaysia for Petronas. So well done to you, McCann Ericsson. But for delivering a great end-to-end -end campaign that was anchored in deep customer research and insight and helped their client to maintain its position as a genuine thought leader at a time when face-to-face -face communications were impossible, the award goes to Transmission for HP Australia, the HP Speaker Series. Now we move into an industry that has been hogging the news headlines over the last two years as pharma companies have battled to bring the global pandemic under some degree of control. The nominees in the healthcare and pharma category are MNC Saatchi Performance for Halodoc, Platform GSK for GlaxoSmithKline, and Scream Technologies for Johnson & Johnson Listerine. The judges were won over by the clever way that one solution was able to engage both healthcare professionals and consumers alike to deliver impressive results for the clients. The award goes to Scream Technologies for Johnson & Johnson Listerine, how a 130 year old brand found new ways to activate expert audiences and succeed. Well done to all involved in that winning campaign. Next up today is the Finance and Professional Services category. Our nominees this time are ADA for Bank Central Asia, Indonesia, ADA for Boost eWallet, ADA for Cigna Insurance Public Company Limited, Thailand, PT Malio Creative Indonesia for AIA Philippines. Not surprisingly, this was a very competitive category. And before we announce two award winners, yes, that's right, two award winners, I can reveal that the judges felt that the entry by ADA for Bank Central Asia Indonesia was worthy of being highly commended. So well done to you, ADA. But for delivering a multifaceted campaign that needed to achieve multiple objectives, that delivered incredible results during a time of great disruption, 
the first award in this category goes to ADA for Boost eWallet Giving More During Tough Times. Congratulations to you, ADA. Now, our second award in this category goes to a campaign that tackled a tough digital transformation brief which needed to engage and build support among multiple stakeholders. It did that and more, delivering impressive results and future-proving the company in the digital space. The award goes to ADA again, this time for Cigna Insurance Public Company Limited Thailand. Cigna Thailand, health tech game changer with data. Wow, it's not very often that we have a clean sweep with one agency winning all the awards in one category. So a huge congratulations to everyone at ADA. Now we go from managing money to getting people to spend their money. Our next category is retail, e-commerce and consumer goods. The nominees are ADA for Abens PLC, ADA for Patronus, ADA for Salad Stop, Assembly for La Mer Hong Kong, and WAI for Leader. We have two entries that have been highly commended in this category, and that is, guess who? It's ADA for Salad Stops. And also highly commended is Assembly for Le Mer Hong Kong. So well done to you both there. But for an interesting and uniquely executed campaign built around great insights that delivered outstanding results, five times growth in sales and over $11 million worth of products sold, this case study was truly excellent. The award goes to WAI for Leader, crossing the boundaries of e-commerce and art. And I'm pleased to have Judge Michelle Hobbs, APAC Lead for Platform GSK at Publicis Group, with us today to talk about the winner. Hello and congratulations to the winning team. This was a really impressive entry from start to finish. We love the way you use consumer insights, identifying that people's relationship with white goods in China was changing due to stay at home and the pandemic, and then the way you translated that to upgrade what would have been a traditional theatre performance and combine that in with live streaming really stood out and really helped leaders stand out in what's quite a cluttered marketplace in terms of live streaming in China. We also love the way that you added that element of real-time consumer feedback and had people answering consumers' queries live while the performance was happening. And the results are really impressive too, with an increase in sales of 11.4 million, and you also helped to reduce the amount of returns because of that live consumer feedback. So all in all, really impressive entry from start to finish. Congratulations. Thank you, Michelle. Now I'm going to hand the reins over to the drums APAC publisher Charlotte McKelleny, who leads the drums editorial and commercial growth right across the Asia Pacific region. Charlotte will take you through our next awards. Where do we find you today Charlotte? I would imagine wherever you are it's warmer than it is here in a pretty chilly UK. Thanks Cameron, I'm broadcasting live from Singapore where I'm based and yes it's pretty warm here today. As Phil Collins might say, no jacket required. Um, okay, let's press on with my first category today, which is the best branding campaign. The nominees in this category are Diageo for Diageo's Captain Morgan, Immobi and Wakefit for Wakefit, Nestle Philippines, Open Mind Philippines and Ad Colony. In this category, our judges have decided to highly commend one entry, and that's Diageo for Captain Morgan's Rum. So congratulations to you on some fabulous digital creative work. But for demonstrating a clear understanding of its audience and using audience insight to build a highly effective brand-focused mobile ad campaign that increased brand consideration and boosted purchase intent substantially, the award goes to Nestle Philippines, Open Mind Philippines and Ad Colony. Many congratulations to you all.
Now, personally, I've never been a big fan of low impact campaigns. I've always much preferred high impact campaigns, and that's what we're going to recognize in our next category. The nominated companies in the best high impact campaign category, partnered by Ad Colony, are Acquire New Zealand for the Maori Party, ADA for SCB Abacus Money Thunder, ADA for ABANS PLC, ADA for British American Tobacco, ADA for Robinson's Department Store Thailand, Hakuhodo and Grab for Panasonic, Immobi for Life Boy Soap, TikTok for TikTok Thailand, and Zaxis Indonesia and Wavemaker Indonesia for Danone Indonesia. Our judges this time have decided to highly commend TikTok for TikTok Thailand. So well done to you all at TikTok. To announce the winner, I'd like to hand over to our partner Ad Colony to reveal the result. Hello, I'm Adrian Watkins, Growth and Marketing Director for Ad Colony APAC, partners of this year's awards. I'm delighted to be here today to announce a winner for Best High Impact Campaign. For their use of multiple data sources to inform audience insights and the use of a varied channel mix to deliver their messages to a wide audience, even with a limited budget, the award goes to Acquire NZ for the Maori Party Believe. Congratulations! Many congratulations to everyone at Acquire New Zealand. Next up to recognise today is the best mobile campaign. And our nominees are ADA for British American Tobacco, Immobi for Life Boy Soap, the Coca-Cola Company, Starcom Indonesia and Ad Colony, Together for Wendy's New Zealand, and Yahoo for Doritos Philippines. Mobile continues to be a very important channel for our brands and our judges wanted to highly commend Together for Wendy's New Zealand, so we let them. Congratulations to all of you involved in that work. But for a campaign that built on the already strong mobile gaming market in the Philippines and used their tech capabilities to deliver a new interactive AR game, leverage programmatic features while utilizing privacy-centric data points to deliver great results, the award goes to Yahoo for Doritos Philippines, Doritos AR Quest, the mobile game that captivated Filipinos. Congratulations. While my stint as an awards host is almost over, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed my time with you. I certainly have. But before I hand back to Cameron, it remains for me to announce the best omni-channel campaign. The nominees for the best omni-channel campaign are Assembly for La Mer Hong Kong, Hakuhodo and Grab for Panasonic, Immobi for Nestle, Wonderman Thompson Immobi, and TikTok Indonesia. <music> Highly commended in this category is InMobi for Nestle, Wonderman Thompson. So congratulations to you. But the award goes to a campaign that was based on a very clever strategy that aimed to increase physical footfall during the pandemic. By cleverly utilizing multiple channels, the campaign delivered impressive results. The winner is Hakuhodo and Grab for Panasonic Antivirus Mobility. Many congratulations to our winners there. And that's all from me. And I'll hand back to Cameron. Thank you, Charlotte, for revealing those award winners. We are rapidly working our way towards our overall winners, the Media Agency of the Year, the Rising Star, and of course, our Grand Prix Award. So do keep your wine glasses or teacups topped up and stay with us for those. But for now, we'll move on to the best paid search campaign category. And our nominees this time are ADA for Roby Axiata Limited and Performix for ITC Foods. The judges have highly commended the entry by ADA for Roby, so well done to you, ADA, another gong for your trophy cabinet. But for cleverly segmenting its markets and implementing a smart strategy to target potential buyers with the right product messages, the judges were impressed with the return on advertising spend and the impressive increase in market segment share. So the award winner is Performix for ITC Foods. <music> Thank you.
Next, we move on to the best paid social campaign category and the nominees in this one are ADA for Bank Central Asia, Indonesia, ADA for British American Tobacco, Inity for McDonald's Malaysia, and ITC for Bingo Call Crash. No highly commended to announce this time, so straight into the award winner, and that goes to a creatively innovative social campaign that found a great way to connect with its audience while remaining true to its brand to deliver genuinely great results. The winner is ITC for Bingo Call Crash. Twenty twenty transported us to an all new normal, and while we were getting used to it, there was something that was spreading even faster than the virus. From our timelines to our stories, we found some reasons to crib everywhere. But there were some people who didn't need to find any reasons. Imagine being unwell with COVID and yet being far away from your loved ones. Bingo, known for its whacked out approach, couldn't resist adding a ray of hope to the lives of these people. So, it set out to do so in its quintessential fun way. We identified that video calls were the only way out for these people, so we conspired with their loved ones to get them on a Zoom call for a pleasant surprise by someone who was known for crashing Bollywood with his funny ways, Ranveer Singh, a real-life hilarious Indian celebrity with infectious energy. Boing. Bingo Call Crash. Hello, young ladies. What's going on? Oh my God! Hello, Auntie. Ranveer had people grinning from ear to ear and truly brought so much happiness to people in real life, even if it was for a few minutes. Next up, we are getting stuck into search engine optimization or SEO as it is better known. For a solution that offered a deep level of understanding of the business challenges and went on to implement an effective campaign that delivered impressive results, the award winner is Assembly for Adobe. Adobe gains momentum in Korea with Naver dominance. Well done to Assembly on scooping that award. Now, as a new father, I'm not getting much sleep, so I'm gonna take a short break from announcing award winners, but fear not, I'll leave you in the very capable hands of Aru Saha, who is the drum's head of sales for APAC, based in Singapore. She works alongside our editorial, client services, and project management teams, and her efforts are geared towards ensuring success for our partners and the drum's commercial growth. Over to you, Aru. Thank you, Cameron. It's great to be here today to announce our next Digital Advertising Award winners while you take a short rest. The first category that I have the pleasure of announcing is the best use of CTV OTT video, who are Assembly for Adobe, Kayo Sports for Sport lives here. The judges have deemed the entry by Assembly for Adobe worthy of being highly commended. So congratulations to all of you at Assembly. Therefore, by a relatively simple process of elimination, the award in this category goes to an entry that put data, analysis, and logical thinking at its core to help create and deliver a targeted creative campaign that scored well over its original campaign objectives. The award goes to Kayo Sports for its Sport Lives Here campaign. Now, as we move on to the most effective use of performance category, I want to ask you, Cameron, if you feel my performance is effective enough tonight? So far, so good, Aru. Phew, no pressure. Okay, and the nominees in this category are Acquire NZ for Super Data Driven, Assembly for Ralph Lauren China, Incubeta for Les Mills, Performix for ITC Foods, Ashirvad Atta, Performix for ITC Foods, for Bells Diwali, Skibits and Matterkind for Spotify. 
The highly commended entry in this category is Performix for ITC Foods. So congratulations to all of you at Team Performix. But for a timely collaboration that led to the smart use of data that drove maximum impact for both parties involved and helped them achieve a common goal, the award goes to Acquire NZ for Super Data Driven. The explosion in marketing opportunities around gaming over the last decade has been incredible. Who would have ever thought we'd be where we are today when we first started playing Atari's Pong back in 1972? Best use of gaming is our next category today and our nominees are CMRS Digital Solutions Limited for Lingnan University, 7&I Holdings, PhD Media, Ad Colony, Universal Robina Corporation, Spark Foundry, Ad Colony for Universal Robina Corporation, Spark Foundry. Highly commended in this category is 7&I Holdings, PhD Media, Ad Colony. So congratulations to all of you. But for using a creative approach to gamification aimed at re-energizing the lives of young people living through a long lockdown and as a result, taking a brand to new heights of recognition and engagement, the award goes to Universal Robina Corporation, Spark Foundry, Ad Colony. The fun way gamification boosted Piato's brand engagement. Congratulations to all the winners I've had the pleasure of announcing. I hope you all continue to enjoy your night. Now I'll hand back over to Cameron, who I am very sure will be fully refreshed after his short break. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you, Aru. Brilliant job there. Now I'm back to bring you our next categories. And remember, it won't be long until we reach our biggest awards of the night. So do stay with us to find out who picks up this year's Grand Prix. But now we are heading outdoors to find the best use of tech in the out of home sector. Partnered by Ad Colony, the nominated businesses are Clear Channel Singapore for Citibank, Moving Walls for Food Panda, and Vistar Media for Dulux. Highly commended in this category is Moving Walls for Food Panda, so well done to you. Hey there, it's great to be back to announce the winner for best use of tech in Out of Home. For clever targeting and great execution that used high-class content to achieve some amazing results for the brand, ladies and gentlemen, the award goes to Vista Media for Dulux. Dulux drives 130% lift in store visits with programmatic digital out-of-home campaign. Congratulations, Vista. Now we are moving on to our next category, which will recognize the best video campaigns from the last year. And this is a fiercely competitive category, to say the least. The nominees for best video are ADA for Bobby Brown Thailand, BBDO Singapore for Visa, Dentsu Singapore Seen This for Tiger Asia Pacific Breweries, iClick Interactive Asia Group for MOT Indonesia, Incubator for Les Mills, and InMobi for L'Oreal Wavemaker Indonesia. Highly commended for its video campaign work is Incubator for Les Mills, so very well done to Incubator. But for using strong insight and good practical creative in an actionable way to bring an important global initiative to a local audience with great results and strong VTR, the award goes to InMobi for L'Oreal Wavemaker Indonesia, L'Oreal Stand Up. Now I'm going to announce some of our most effective categories, the first being most effective use of branded content. The nominees are One Football for Clear Men, 
Netflix and One Esports, PT Global Digital Niagara, Wavemaker Indonesia, Ad Colony, Singapore Brand Office, and Twitch Australia for Audible Australia. We have one highly commended entry in this category, and that is Singapore Brand Office. So congratulations to you. But for a brilliant partnership that opened up new audiences through the use of engaging content and clever use of platform functionality, the award for branded content goes to Twitch Australia for Audible Australia, the Audible Club. And joining us to explain why they like the winning entry so much is Andrea Andrick, Head of Digital Marketing at Nura. The judges and I in my group thought that it was one of the best examples of branded content, having used the Twitch content creators um, in such a unique way to dress up and to present the content and read audiobooks. Uh, we thought that the way that the Twitch platform was used was very platform specific and appropriate, especially with getting um, the engagement that it got. We also thought it was such a fantastic way for Audible to reach a, a whole new audience. So. On the whole, we love this piece and um, good luck. It's good very badly. <laughs> Twitch is home to 1.5 billion hours of live video content every month and an audience that loves good storytelling and entertainment. So how do you introduce this video loving audience to the thrills of audio storytelling from Audible? By doing what Twitch does best and creating a community out of what some might deem a solo act. <laughs> video games. Oh, Jesus. Introducing the first ever Audible Live Club, taking the idea of a book club and making it modern and live on Twitch. Helping Audible transform audiobook and podcast listening from a solo activity to an Hello, interactive buddy. community experience on Twitch. I'm not ready for that to be over. Bajo kicked off the Audible Live Club with Nut Jobs, an Audible original podcast narrated by Australian TV presenter Mark Bennell. Credits to download audiobooks were given out during the stream. To top it off, Audible Australia launched its first ever Audible Emote. Aww. At Christmas, Twitch streamers I'm Fall From Grace and Reefs thrilled fans with a live reading of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol with a twist, taking on creative cues from the Twitch community. Oh my god. I love you, chat. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Super fun. Okay, it's time for me to hand over to another member of the drum team. So can I welcome Amit Batner, who is the drums editor at large in India, to announce our next awards. The show is all yours, Amit. Thank you, Cameron. And hello to everyone watching today's show. It's great to be able to join you all from here in Mumbai. The first category that I'll announce is the most effective programmatic media partnership award. The nominees in this category are InMobi for Lifebuoy, South China Morning Post, Matterkind and the Trade Desk, Quantcast for Starhub, Kibitz and Matterkind for Spotify, together. The judges were very impressed with the entries in this category and I've highly commended Skibitz and Matterkind for Spotify. So congratulations to you. But for creating a phenomenally successful programmatic media partnership using a blend of data assets to identify unique high propensity audiences in the highly competitive gas market in New Zealand and delivering outstanding results, the award goes to Together for Rock Gas, a probabilistic programmatic partnership. Many congratulations to Together on winning that award. Many congratulations to you guys. The next category in today's show is the most effective use of affiliate marketing and the nominees this time are Canva, Impact and Hamster Garage, Grab Insurance, My Muscle Chef, Rakuten Advertising, 55 Haithiao and Clinic. We are going straight into the award winner this time and for an affiliate campaign that impressed the judges by its sophisticated strategies that together delivered impressive results in only its second year of existence, leading to a 615% increase in revenue. The award goes to Canva, Impact, and Hamster Garage. Congratulations to Canva. It's not long now 
until we will move into the big awards of the night and crown our media buying agency of the year and grow free winners. So do stay with us online. But my next job today is to announce the most effective use of data awards. Where would we all be without data, ladies and gentlemen? Big, small, or medium-sized data is the biggest driver in our industry today. So let's find out who's using it to best effect. And the nominees are ADA for British American Tobacco, ADA for Petronas, Assembly for Yes, Crusoe Digital Solutions for CSL, Platform GSK for GSK, South China Morning Post, Mattertine and the Trade Desk, together for Wendy's New Zealand. The judges have chosen this time to highly commend the entry from Crusoe Digital Solutions for CSL. And another highly commended to platform GSK for Glaxo. But for implementing a strategy that seamlessly integrated front end data with original creative and execution that delivered great results and a genuine business solution, ladies and gentlemen, the award goes to together for Wendy's New Zealand Data. I'm pleased to invite one of our judges, Gordon Malani of S4 Capital, to talk about our winner. And then it's back to Cameroon to carry on with the show. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on which part of the world you're in and uh, when you're tuning in. In the category of most effective use of data, we honed in on one particular campaign, and that was for Wendy's New Zealand. And there's a couple of reasons for that. When you look at the essence of it, when you're looking at effective use of data, what you're really trying to do is turn that data into knowledge and then make somebody actually do something. And we felt that Wendy's example did exactly that. They had typical problems, which is low football, declining business, and in fact, not much first party data. But what they managed to do is partner with Foursquare, use their data and really granularly look at each store, what their strengths and weaknesses are. They then created cohorts from that and created work that reflected the needs of those particular segments and the barriers to their purchase. The effect of that was creating something that was fairly seamless. And in addition to that, did the best thing you could ever do. And that is actually get more people to experience the brand by going into the restaurant. So well done, a great example of effective use of data. Thank you. Thank you very much for announcing those winners there, Amit. And if you're watching today's show in India, then make sure you get in touch with Amit too. Now let's press on with the next award, which will go to the best B2B DNI program stroke initiative. While data is certainly driving today's digital campaigns, diversity and inclusivity is driving the internal cultures of modern digital businesses, and it's vital that remains the case in the future. Our judges wanted to recognize one digital advertising business that is doing amazing work in this area. The agency's new approach to growth puts DNI at its very heart and they have implemented a DNI strategy that involved every member of staff having their say to help drive that strategy through a number of valuable initiatives. Ladies and gentlemen, the best B2B DNI program award goes to Assembly. Congratulations to Assembly. Keep up the great work. Next, we move on to best overall technology for programmatic trading, sell side. The nominated companies in this category are Any Manager by Any Mind Group, Magnite, and Triton Digital. No highly commended this time, so straight into the award, and that goes to a business which, despite it being a challenging year, managed to bring a number of innovative technologies to market all of which have been brilliantly received by their clients. For giving us unified decisioning, demand manager, and Total Connect Plus, the award goes to Magnite. Sticking with technology, the next category in today's show is game-changing advertising technology. 
And our game changers in this one are Any Tag by Any Mind Group, Baco Turkey, PT Global Digital Niagara, Wavemaker Indonesia, Ad Colony, 7i Holdings, PhD Media, Ad Colony, The Coca Cola Company, Starcom Indonesia, Ad Colony, Yahoo for Doritos Philippines. Again, our judges have recognized one business in this category. For a platform that offers marketers a great way to target and measure their influencer campaigns across multiple services, the judges have given the award to AnyTag by AnyMind Group, the gold standard for influencer marketing. Congratulations to AnyMind Group there, very well done. Now I'm going to hand over to another member of the Drums Asia Pacific reporting team, journalist Sean Lim. Sean is based in Singapore and covers the future of media, digital transformation and work and well-being amongst other things. His smile lights up any room, so welcome Sean. Ah, thank you Cameron. I'll be happy to give you some smiling lessons after today's show if you like. Okay, onwards with our next category, which I hope will make you all smile as it is attack for good category. The nominees are ADA for UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency, Inmobi for Life Boy Soap, Unilever and Mindshare, Inmobi for L'Oreal Paris Indonesia. Highly commended in this category are Inmobi for L'Oreal Paris Indonesia, Wavemaker Indonesia. So well done to you. But for creating a much needed campaign that came at a time of great anxiety, the judges were impressed by how our winner used real-time data to reach key household influencers with customized messaging in their preferred medium. That approach delivered incredible results, reaching almost 7 million people in just 8 weeks. The award goes to Inmobi for Live Boy Soap. As the saying goes, if you are not changing, you are standing still. And the last two years has seen incredible change in how people live, buy, communicate, socialize, and so on. This year, we have introduced a new category to recognize how businesses in our industry have helped our clients to adapt and trade through those changes. Our nominees for best response to change are ADA for salad stock. BBDO Singapore for Visa, Incubator for Less Meals, Inmobi for Live Boy Soap, Unilever, Mindshare, ITC for Bingo, Core Crash, and MAC Sachi Performance for Halidoc. One agency stood up to our judges here for a campaign that supported a business in one of the worst hit sectors that helped our client completely change their business model and tap into additional revenue streams with fantastic results. The award goes to ADA for Salad Stock, the good food revolution in the COVID-19 crisis. Huge congratulations to everyone at ADA and Salad Stock. And now back to Cameron as we move towards the big awards of today's shows. Thank you, Sean, for announcing those awards. Sentosa really does look lovely this time of year. And as Sean said, we are hurtling towards the big awards of today's show. But first, let's announce the Best In-House Team Award. The judges felt that one in-house team had demonstrated that the intelligent setup of its full digital team was really driving impressive media results, despite only being active for 18 months. In a short time, the team has learned and adapted to its customers' needs and wants, and is today perfectly positioned to thrive long into the future. Ladies and gentlemen, the in-house team of the year is Stream Motion, KO Sports and Binge, many congratulations to you all. Let's move on to the next category and that is to recognize the best buy side team or agency. The nominees are I click Interactive Asia Group Limited and Acquire NZ. 
Highly commended in this category is iClick Interactive Asia Group Limited, so many congratulations to everyone there. But for showcasing a broad range of notable achievements that consistently push the boundaries of technology, only possible due to the agency's deep knowledge of those tech platforms and their skill at cutting through to deliver plans that genuinely work, the award goes to Acquire NZ. Well done to you. Another team award is next up as we look at the best ad sales team of the year. Our worthy nominees are Clear Channel Singapore, Inskin Media, Quantcast, and The Trade Desk. The judges would like to highly commend the ad sales team at the trade desk in this category, so well done to you all. But the award goes to a team that was forced to adapt quickly during the pandemic as many of their key clients were in the travel sector. They didn't panic, but focused on shifting selling strategies and identifying new and innovative ways to service their clients which they managed to do with great buy-in from those clients. Congratulations to our winner, Quantcast. Next, we move on to the best ad ops team. In this category, we have two nominees. They are Ada and CNN International Commercial. The award in this category goes to a team that clearly demonstrated the depth of the relationships they have with their clients and also how engaged their staff are in the business itself. Together they have delivered some fantastic results and very much deserve great recognition for their work. The Best Ad Ops Team Award goes to ADA. Congratulations again, ADA. You guys are having a great night and I think you'll be needing a new trophy cabinet. Now we move on to a category that recognizes the future of our industry. So who is this year's digital advertising rising star? We have some genuinely excellent talent in this category. Let's meet them. They are Mahima Damani of The Trade Desk, Olivia Graham of Acquire NZ, Pablo Minana of The Economist Group Asia Pacific and Sophie Baker of The Trade Desk. After much intense debate, during which our judges really struggled to separate the high quality nominees, they chose to highly commend Olivia Graham, Programmatic Manager at Acquire NZ. So very well done to you, Olivia. Our judges also chose to highly commend Sophie Baker of The Trade Desk. So again, congratulations, Sophie. But in what the judges said was a very difficult category to judge for simply making a huge impression on her managers in less than a year in the business, our winner is delivering impressive results at a very high standard and she is also making a significant impact in improving processes in her team and that promises great things for the future. So our Rising Star Award goes to Mahima Damani of The Trade Desk. Huge congratulations to you. Next, we move on to our penultimate award of the show. It's a major award. It is the Media Agency of the Year 2021. There are two agencies that have made it through to fight it out for this accolade. I'm getting nervous. I don't know about them, but they are ADA and Assembly. Our winner has demonstrated great year-on-year -year revenue growth which has been backed up with many great new business wins in what we all know has been a tough trading year. Their commitment to DNI is clear and their case studies show they are really delivering solid results for their clients. Ladies and gentlemen, the media agency of the year is 
Assembly. Huge congratulations to everyone at Assembly on that win. And we reach the final award of today's Drum Awards for Digital Advertising APAC Results Show. We have seen some fantastic and deserved winners in tonight's show, and they will now all go head to head to head to head, etc., etc., to battle it out for our Grand Prix Award. So, before I announce the winner, let's take a look back at all of the winners who are in the running for our Grand Prix Award today. So congratulations to all of tonight's worthy award winners, but of course we can only have one Grand Prix winner and this year the Grand Prix goes to a team of people that have delivered brilliant creative concepts that have been hugely entertaining for their target audiences. The platform features were all used to great effect and worked together to deliver some genuinely awesome results. Ladies and gentlemen, the Grand Prix award goes to TikTok for TikTok Thailand, TikTok Songkran Stranger, the first immersive movie experience that you can be part of. So congratulations to our Grand Prix winner TikTok and congratulations too to all of the nominated agencies and brands in today's show. Very well done to those of you who were highly commended and took home awards today. I think the breadth of winners across our categories shows that the digital ad industry across the Asia Pacific region is in rude health, despite the difficulties you've all faced over the last 18 months. So well done on creating some truly awe-inspiring work. Thank you to our sponsor, Ad Colony, for partnering with us and for revealing a couple of those awards today. And thank you too to the Drums Asia Pacific team for helping me with the show. Thank you, most of all, for logging on to be with us. All of today's results are now live online, so you can jump onto thedrum.com to investigate all of the winners. We'll be keeping our pledge to make our winners famous and publishing their case studies on our website. That's all from me, Cameron Clark, editor of The Drum. Please do enjoy your celebrations, and I look forward to seeing you again next year when we get the chance to celebrate your hard work once more. Goodbye. <laughs>